Hold on, out of the way, mate, we'll be coding tin salt. Old tin salt, sad tin salt. What's all this? Christmas. Charity strikes again. She sticks me on a shift I don't want to do to put up old tatty decorations I don't like. Yeah, all right, Grinch, we get it. You're too cool for Christmas. Listen, I thought Charity would check with you first. Are you OK with this? Yeah, it's fine. But we'll have to leave you to it because it's our day off. Not for me. I've got accounts to do. Right. Do you want any help? Nope. But they do. Tinsel that doesn't fall apart. Well, we've got snowmen, we've got elves, <laughs> we've got reindeer. Oh, stars and an angel. Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's... Thank you. Oh, these are so cute. It's quite a bounty you've got there. Yeah, Marlon, Christmas. <laughs> More like you, Christmas. I got this. At the top of the tree. Marlon saw her and thought that she'd... Well, she, she could be for Gracie, looking down on us. Marlon thought? Yeah. No. Um, we both did. But, you know, I got her. Right. Anyway, I'm going to take these through to the back, because it'll be easy to focus. These are table number five. Hey, on your bike, mate. These are mine. The table of fit is. I'm on to you, Barton. I am going to watch him crash and burn. Charming. Charles, listen, if you need to... Back on. 4.50. Hmm, whatever happened to please? Went the same way as thanks. Charming. Hey, uh, Charles, we've got this, seriously. Christmas music. Whose idea was it to put the Christmas tree up in November? Yeah, totally depressing. So finding out Nicola's your new boss isn't bad enough. Charles, how are you? How did it all go? Just leave it, yeah. Can you just come through to the back, please? I just want to talk to you. Oh, so now you want to talk, do you? Well, go ahead, talk. Talk, Paddy. Tell everybody how you're feeling, why don't you? But you can't, can you? Silly me, I forgot, because you don't feel anything, do you, Paddy? Our baby died, and you feel absolutely nothing. How can you say that? You know it's not true. If it's not true, then why say it? OK, if you want to do this... Um, maybe you want to take it in the back air. Why? Who are we protecting here? Well, we're certainly not protecting me, are we? I told you my feelings in confidence. Only there weren't any feelings, though, were there, Paddy? But you know what? That's fine. You're over it. How dare you say that to me? Right, OK, uh, sorry, everyone, we're closed. What, it's my fault now, suddenly, is it? You couldn't tell me we had a final appointment. Why couldn't I tell you, Paddy? Why did I go on my own? Because that's how I feel. I feel on my own. Because you... Yeah, me. I'm absolutely fine, me, aren't I? Your grief has run out. It ran out ages ago, let's be honest with you. That's why you don't have any feelings anymore. Well, none that are important. Anyway, I mean, you're all about romantic meals and trying to get me into bed. I wanted to spend some time with you. No, you didn't. You want everything to go back to normal. But this is my normal, Paddy. You don't know what I want. Yes, I do. I do. I see you every day. You get up, you go to work, you laugh with him. You sleep. You sleep and I lie awake every night while you just lie there sleeping like a... You've like no a... idea what I'm going through. Don't you dare go back on this now. You said that you couldn't cry for her. You said that you could only cry for yourself. And you asked me if I hated you for that. And I said no, and you know what? I lied, because I do! I hate you! I hate you for just getting on with life! For sticking plastic bits of tat on a Christmas tree and calling it our daughter! Because she's dead, Paddy! She's dead! Get out! You know that! Get out! Get out! Everybody, just get out! Go on, just... 